This week on 3D Printed Soup, a massive Star Wars Razor Crest print. That's right after this. Hello fellow makers, welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. This week we are having a look at my favourite spaceship from Star Wars, the Razor Crest. It was going to be the Millennium Falcon for this generation until Hasbro and Dizzy decided to do this to it. Yeah, that was a surprise, especially seeing that they just sold loads and loads of people uh, a Kickstarter for the uh, Kenner scale toy of it. And then I went on to Thingiverse and somebody's made a very, very nice replica of it. So I thought, you know what, I'll give it a try and give it a print. And there are a couple of surprises, most of them good. And yeah, this thing is absolutely incredible. So this week we're going to go through how I printed it, basic assembly, and then next week we're going to go through actual proper assembly, all the bits and pieces, painting it, filling it and getting it to look absolutely awesome. So without further ado, well actually I say that, let's have one ado. Thanks very much for everyone who has liked and subscribed this month. There's loads more of you and we're nearly, nearly at a thousand. Just need a hundred or so more of you to click that subscribe button. So if you haven't and you're watching this, and according to my analytics, you, yep, you, that's right, you know who you are. You're watching this without clicking the subscribe button. And that's just awful. So drag your cursor down, click on the subscribe button, and there you go. All is forgiven. Welcome to the fold. So let's print ourselves a 3D printed Razor Crest and hopefully they'll bring it back in a later series and not the weird little Naboo Starfighter which is completely inappropriate for a bounty hunter. I mean, where else are they going to stick the bounty? In the glove box? Right, let's get this a try.
well, this thing is freaking enormous. I mean, look at the size of the engines on it. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. It's got a fully working interior. It's got an openable cockpit. It's got a back flap here where you can basically have all your bounties being taken in and out of it. It's got side doors that open. It's got functioning landing gear, which I'm going to print out and do for next week. But yeah, just the footprint of it. It's got to be two foot by a foot wide. It's yeah. I absolutely love this thing. I mean, yeah, I had to print some of it out in rainbow filament and some of it out in regular filament because I ran out of regular filament and didn't have time for Amazon to deliver it. But yeah, this thing is absolutely amazing and I'm looking forward to printing the extra bits, then filling, basing, priming, and then painting it a lovely silver color with the orange stripes. And then we're gonna do a load of weathering on it and a few greeblies. We're gonna make this thing look incredible. Let me put it down now because my arm's about to fall off. So, yeah, very happy with the way that has turned out. Thanks so very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Links to the maker who made this thing on the description below. Check him out on Thingiverse. He's made a really, really nice model and there's loads of extra bits and updates to it. Make sure if you do actually download it and print it, you leave him a like, a comment and a picture so he knows that you've used his work. And yeah, Oh, 10 out of 10 for this incredible version of the Razor Crest. Thanks so much for watching 3D Printer Soup. Stay happy, stay safe, keep printing.